Okay, uh, VMEX 64, here's what I learned today, June 20th, <clears throat> 2013. You open V64, and now I could open up the presets, but just in case I lose my presets, I'm going to show you how to do this again. So I want to add an input. The first input that I'm going to add is my desktop capture. And that's from this computer here. So I'm going to click OK. And then that will bring in the other desktop. Um, everything should be OK the way it is. Um, should be all right there. OK. So now I've got this desktop in. And now I want to bring in the green screen. To do that, I'm going to also do a add input. But this time I'm going to go to capture. Make sure that my camera is on. And I'm going to go Microsoft DV camera. And VCR. <coughs> and then click OK. OK, and there's my green screen. But now I want to put it actually in green screen. So I'm going to go down here to I. And color key. I'm going to grab one of these colors. I'm going to auto chroma key. And I want anti-aliasing, definitely. And then close. Now I'm going to walk over to the green screen just to make sure. Okay. Good. Looks like I'm in there, but I need to overlay it onto here. So I'm going to click the number 2 button. And then number 2 should overlay it. To get in and make any changes, I just click the I button again, and I can change things and so on and so forth. So there you go. That's how to quickly set up the green screen. Also, um, another thing that I discovered was um, I can go into program settings, and I can tell it that I want the output screen to change from output screen 1, which is my monitor here on my computer, to out screen, output screen 2 which is also my comp or, or my um, uh, second monitor or the monitor up above the camera. Uh, when I do this, I need to do program start or restart. And that's it. Thanks. So long, farewell, and goodbye. Now how do I turn this off? There we go.